Welcome back. Guyanese artist Damien Moore opens his exhibition, Andara, at the McFarlane Mass Camp tonight. He took some time away from preparing for the show to speak with We News about his art and his inspiration. Andar, it's Hindi. It means um, inside in Hindi. Um, it all came about from a quote that I read in The Prophet, written by a Lebanese um, poet called Khalil Gibran. It says, um, pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. The exhibition, well, it's not of the pain, but it's what comes after the pain. It's um, that feeling that you have after a fight with whoever or a long day at work. The next day, you wake up and it's like, okay, I could do this again. I'm okay. I could get up. I could, I'm still alive. I thank God. And I could move again. And the paintings, the colors, the vibrance, the movement in the paintings all reflect that internal celebration inside. Um, like when the sun rises, like you'll see in a movie, you'll hear the background music. It, it, it's smooth and then it starts to elevate and it gets loud and loud and it's just this vibrant burst and you see the sun rise and you hear the, the music. It's, it's basically that. In Ghana, artists take a lot of risks, but I think in the art world, Trinidad it's, uh, is very much more advanced in the terms that uh, people pay more attention to art here. Um, you could do as much as you want to here. Uh, Guyana, it's almost a struggle to be an artist, an everyday artist. Not to say that it's not a struggle here, but it's just there's just a wider range of opportunities and materials and you know like when I came for carnival I fell in love with carnival and I knew that you know Trinidad was the art hub of the Caribbean and this is a place I needed to to launch to start out from I landed a job with Brian McFarlane and I've learned so much in the last two years it's just been amazing he's offered a space to other artists as well and I think it's a very noble thing that he's al allowing artists to make a name for themselves by offering the space and it's it's just a wonderful a wonderful thing for a young artists to have the opportunity to showcase their work and what they can do um, this space is it's small but it's intimate and it's it's really great. It, I I can't really say any more about it, but I just think he's he's doing a great thing for you know young artists. And you too are invited to share in Damien's art. Now we move from one expression of art to another. Poison may no longer be in existence here in Trinidad, but in London the Poison brand is growing strong. We News spoke today with Konata Alain about Carnival in Notting Hill, which is the biggest street festival in Europe, and the importance of Caribbean music to the August festivities. It's the level of Poison UK is a Caribbean brand. We are an events management company. It's no longer about Trinidad and Tobago. It's about the Caribbean. So it's not just about soap, it's not just about costumes. Nothing a Carnival is about. It's an expression of music. So you're going to get... Um, you're going to get soca, you're going to get dance, or you're going to get hip-hop, you're going to get um, UK funky house, you're going to get house, you're going to get dance. So it's nothing a carnival is more about music than anything else. The funny thing is, the majority of people that, that come to our events or take part in nothing a carnival, um, they're, they're not necessarily from the Caribbean. In, in terms of some of them have never been to the Caribbean before. You know, we, we're looking at a lot of second generation and third generation and fourth generation generation of the people. So whereas um, myself and other people, we come straight from the island, you know, we up here for some years, there are people who have been born here, have never been to the island that they may have heritage from, you know, but they're all, they're all part of it. Because you think about, about what we do, you think about the Caribbean music is just, it's so inclusive and it's infectious. Kind of a Friday is the we have our big concert and they say it's called 90 Degrees, right? And um, our headline act, um, we are bringing in, in, in busy signal from Jamaica. Um, we have Kesti Band from Trinidad. We have Fian. We have Shah from Trinidad as well. Um, we have Tapi from Grenada. We have Skinny Fabulous from St. Vincent. We have Lil Rick from, from Barbados. And to all bring that all together, we have Doneo. 
So everybody with a, with, who doesn't know the actual name, they know their name from Party Hard. So we send artists all in Europe to all the different festivals, the Antillian festivals, festivals in Germany, in Holland. And, and it's, it's just craziness. If you want to go to things, you have the option of going, you know. So it's, it's just, it's so big, so many places that are, are things that, that you can do. So if you're in the UK during their carnival season, stop by and enjoy the carnival flavor, Caribbean, European style. And now here's a closer look at what's going on in your community. An art exhibition, Andara by Damien Moore, held at McFarlane's Mass Camp No. 49 Rosalina Street, Woodbrook, opens July 15th until July 24th, 2010 from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Health Fair and Aerobic Burnout, held at St. Margaret Boys Compound, Mailer Street, Belmont, on July 17, 2010 at 2 p.m. Please call the school office for more information. Writers' Union Meeting at Nales Abercrombie Street, Port of Spain on July 17, 2010 from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Non-members are also welcome. Napa Fest Celebrating Calypso held at Upper Frederick Street, Port of Spain on July 17, 2010. Tickets are available at the box office. Hike to Double River Falls, Brasso Seco. Meeting point will be the corner of Amera and Churchill Roosevelt Highway on July 18, 2010 at 7 a.m. Please contact the Trinbago Backpackers for more information. Literacy will host a Manzanilla Beach Cleanup on July 18, 2010 from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Please call 746-5952 for more information. That's all we have for you tonight. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget, send us your news, email us, wenews at guiltv.com, or give us a call, 628-1011. I'm Cindy F. Daniel. Thanks for watching We News on Guile, the channel. Good night.